Hey, now we're here for a quick skill lesson, which is what is place value? It's one of those words you hear a lot about, but you may not fully understand. So place value is when we talk about the value that each number has, okay? So even though this number we can see is 365, an important number, why is that, pause? It's how many days there are in a year, isn't it? So even though we know the number 365, what do each of those numbers mean? For example, is that a six? Well, it looks like a six, but in reality, it isn't actually, the value of it is not six. So what is the value of each of these numbers? Well, we use something called a place value grid to understand this. Um, and each of these, well, here we've got three hundred, so that's worth hundreds. This is six tens, and this is five uh, ones. So what does that look like? Well, if I break down the number 365, it's made up of 300 and 60 and 5. So we can see we've got 300. So look, here is a 100 beads. I've got three of these. Okay, you might look at it a bit like this as well. So three of these here, one, two, three. Then I've got six tens. So each of these separate colours of the tens is one, two, three, four, five. Six, six tens, so if I slide those beads down, there's my six tens. Sometimes we use these to represent them. So look, I've got three hundreds. I've got six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many ones have I got? Well, we often use these little things to represent ones. I've got one, two, three, four, five ones. Three hundred and sixty one. So that is the place value. Well, if I said to you, what is the value of the six in that number? You would say, it's six tens, 60. What is the value of the three in that number? It is three hundreds. I might say to you, how many ones are in 365? Well, there's five ones in 365. Tell you what, let's do a little practice on that to see that you've got it, and then I'll give you a little challenge. So it's only a quick skill, it's not gonna last very long. So if I give you a few numbers on the board, so we've got 72, 1,235, 635, uh, 47, and I'll put 12 just up at the top. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna circle a number, and you need to tell me what the value of that number is. So here's the number circled, here's the number circled, there's the number circled, number circled, number circled. So all I want is the value of the circled number. Pause. Right, now you're back. The value of the circle number there is simply two or two ones. So I could say two ones, I could just say two, or I could draw it like this. Two, two dots. The value of that is seven tens or seventy, or I could draw it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The reason we use those lines for tens is because these I don't know if you can see, but this is made up of 10 individual ones. So we show a, a dot like that for a one, a line like that for a 10, and then we show a square for a hundred, because this, as you can see, if that's 10 ones, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 for that square. And here's some noise that's going on outside there. Right, let's have a look at this next one. What is the value of that two? Well, that is two hundreds, two hundred, or I could draw it like this. There is two hundred. What's the value of this? Well, that's three tens, in other words, thirty, in other words, one, two, three. And what's the value of this? Well, it's seven ones, uh, it's going to be confusing, seven ones, or seven, or I might draw it like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, what I'd like you to do, I would like you to do on a sheet, you're gonna do me some numbers, and around it make a sort of spider graph, a bit like this. So pick any, start with a three or a four digit number, I don't mind. Here I'm gonna do a, a four digit number, four, six, two, doesn't really matter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how many ways can I show this number. So I could say it's 400 plus 60 plus two, I could say it's one, two, three, four hundred, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and two, four hundred and sixty-two. 
that I could say that it's four hundreds, uh, six tens, and two ones, and uh, maybe you can find some different ways of showing that number. Pick five or six different numbers. How many ways can you explain uh, the different values uh, of each digit in that number? Off you go.